All right, it's business creation time. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a business and how to decide what to make your business about, okay? Let's get started. Get your pen and notepads ready because you're gonna be taking tons of notes in this super short video. I have a ton of information packed in this video, but it's gonna be so beneficial for you, like so beneficial, especially for those of you who don't have a business yet and are just kind of like mulling the idea over. So I did a podcast about SFM and, you know, being an entrepreneur. And this a statement that I made in that podcast that's kind of like resonated with me since then. And that statement was, don't just create a business because you want a business. Create a business out of something that you love and something that's important to you. This is key in coming up with a business. This is key in having a business. You know, when you want to start your own business, I always say, don't just make a business because, oh, you want money. But create a business because you find something that you love and you want to give it to the world. That's how you create a sustainable business. This is what's going to help you towards, you know, when things are going slow, which will happen in businesses. When things are, you know, start off really slow, knowing that you love your business idea is what's going to keep you motivated. This is what's going to keep you going. It's going to help you stay focused, you know. Loving your business instead of just picking something that's easy or that everyone is doing. If you love it, you're going to stick with it. You're going to, like, be super motivated throughout the entire process. Even when things are slow, the back of your mind, you're still going to think, hey, I love this idea. I got to keep it pushing. I got to continue striving flawlessly. So, how do you decide on your business idea, especially for those of you who have a lot of things you want to do? I am one of those people. I am super multi-passionate. And if you guys, I mean, if you see me, you know that I have multiple businesses, but it's because I put all my passions and I turn it into something. But I work hard. I make sure I conquer one area before I go to the next area. But for those of you who are, you know, not sure what you want to do, there are some steps that you can take to make your, to figure out what business that you want to have. First is, what do you love? What are you passionate about? That is the first step. What makes you excited? What gets you like super fired up? Like for me, you know, modest clothing and also helping the women in business, that gets me super fired up. When someone asks me about like how to run a business, I get super excited, you know? Again, this is where Charlie Blossom comes from. So what makes you happy? What makes you passionate? That's the first step in deciding what your business is going to be about. Second step is what are your skills? I mean, you can't say, hey, I want to start a baking business, but you've never like even made a brownie. You've never, you know, you've never mixed, you know, a box mix together. That can, you can't say, I'm going to become the top baker of Abu Dhabi, but you've never baked a cookie before. Like that's, You can't do that. So what are your skills? Are you really good at painting? If you are, you could say, hey, I want to, you know, create logos for people, painting custom logos for people. Are you a great makeup artist? Are you good at makeup? You want to say, hey, I want to be a makeup artist. Like, if you're good at makeup, that's it. So what are your skills? I want you to sit down first and write down what makes you happy and write those things down. Like, hey, I am happy when I'm giving other people advice. I am happy when I am, you know, doing my makeup. I am happy when I am drawing. Okay, what are your skills? I am happy, you know, my skills are, you know, blending eyeshadow really well my skills are drawing perfectly my skills are being an expert at photoshop what are your skills so first what makes you happy what gets you excited and fired up second what are your skills you know what like what is it that you have to offer the third thing that you're going to work on is what need are you trying to fit you know like for instance when i started shopping for modesty i saw a need i saw this need for modest clothing specifically jill babs that fit skinny you know petite and tall women skin tall women that's the need that i was trying to fit there wasn't a lot of that out there so i was like i'm going to fill that need in the united states of america because there's a lot in europe but not in the u.s so i was like i guess i gotta solve that problem so what need are you trying to are you trying to fill and what are you trying to solve that's the next thing so again take what makes you happy your skills and what problem you're trying to solve and then look at all of those and that's how you're going to decide what your business should be the next thing is, is it profitable? How are you going to make money out of your business? Because I know sometimes people think it's tacky to talk about money, but it's the reality. When you run a business, you put a lot of time and effort and money into it. So you have to know you're going to get something back. Even if it's like, you know, your business is like a nonprofit, that's still a business. You're still expecting to get something back out of it, something for your time, something for your effort. So is your idea profitable? You know, if your idea is not going to make you anything, that it's, it's not a business, it's a hobby. You know, even legally, that's not a business, it's a hobby. You have to think about that. Is this idea profitable? If the answer is yes, then awesome. Let's get on to the next few steps. If the answer is no, maybe we should visit the drawing board and sit down again and look, think back. Okay, these are what I love. This is my skills. 
is there something that involves this thing that I love and these skills? How can I take those things together and find something that's profitable? It might not be what you were first thinking, but there might be another avenue that you can take that combines what you love and your skills to can get you a profitable business. So that's the next thing. The last thing and the most important is can you see yourself doing this in a few years? Like you can, it's not a good idea to start a business that you're going to get bored within a couple of years because again, to have a successful business that's sustainable and that's consistently generating income and making you happy, it ha you have to be in for the long haul. You can't do it for a year and just be like, okay, I'm done. You, whatever your ideas, you just say in five years, where do I see myself? Does this business fit in my plan in five years? If the answer is no, then you probably should not have that business, you know, unless it's part of a greater plan, which I've done that in the past where I've started a business and no, I did not see myself in the business in three or five years, but it was a stepping stone to where I wanted to get to next. So it's still kind of, you know, factored into my overall plan. So putting the effort and time and money into it was worth it because I had an overall goal for my bigger business, just driving flawlessly. So that's one thing. But if it's like, you know, you might get bored doing people's makeup after a year, then maybe you shouldn't be investing a lot of your time and effort in that business. You know, that's a hobby. Still, you can still pursue it. You can still do it. But the amount of time and effort that you're going to put into it versus a business you're going to see yourself having in five, ten years is going to be completely different. So you have to think about that. Can you see yourself doing it in five years? And the answer is yes, then awesome. If you have the passion and you have the skills and it's profitable, you can see yourself doing it in five years, then you have the perfect business for you. And that's pretty much the most important part of starting a business having an idea the most important part is what the business says you can't have a business if you don't have an idea if you don't know what you're doing so having those having these steps together is what's going to help you you know hit the ground running that's what's going to help you get to where you need to go so just as a recap how do you come up with your idea for your business the first is what makes you passionate what makes you happy second is what are your skills third is is it profitable you know fourth is what problem are you trying to solve? What need are you trying to fill? And lastly, can you see yourself doing it in the long run in your five, your three, five, ten year plan? Is that business going to be in there? Can you see yourself still being excited by it? And I don't mean obviously when you have a business, there are gonna be some law times where you're just like, I'm not into it. That's normal. That's what I mean. I mean, are you gonna see yourself in five years saying, like, oh my goodness, I just I just don't wanna do this anymore. I'm just done. If that's the case, then come up with a different idea. Especially if you're gonna put the time and effort required. Think of something that you can do long term that you're really going to be investing in that you're going to love. So that's all I have for you guys today. So that's just like our pretty much our first step is trying to fall is come up with our business idea. So I want you to sit down, take these steps, get your pen and notepad ready, and come up with your list. And I would love for you guys to kind of share with me what you guys come up with in the comments. Or you can even send them to me in my inbox and say, Hey, these are what I'm passionate about. These are my skills. What are your what is your thoughts on this? I mean, and I would give that to you. Have a great day. Thanks for trying to fall asleep with me today.